Hello, I'm making some modifications to this quad here to test out an idea I had for re reducing vibrations, um, the jello type of high frequency vibrations. And basically the idea is that instead of attaching the motors directly um, to the frame with a hard connection like this, uh, I figured that <clears throat> I might try putting some vibration damping directly under the motors. Uh, so that's what we've got going on here. Um, so the the logic behind this is that this is where the vibrations are coming from. So if we can stop it at the source there, then it's um, going to get less vibration into the main part. So my theory is that <clears throat> um, I've seen a lot of people, they use a clean section and a dirty section. And it seems like the dirty section is fairly large because the motors are on the dirty section and they're connected to it with a hard connection. And then there's like some vibration damping between that and the clean section. And the clean section quite logically has the battery because the battery um, being the heaviest single part of the frame um, is able to, it has a lot of, um, what do you call it, inertia. So it's, uh, it's a damper in itself really because of, just because of the weight. So following along that kind of same kind of logic, I'm trying to make the frame itself as that weight, like as much weight as possible in one block, um, and then keep the dirty sections small and separated. Um, so I'm theorizing, <laughs> I haven't tried this of course, as you can see I'm only halfway through the conversion, but um, my theory is that <clears throat> if you have so you have this motor here connected with a hard connection essentially to this motor. They vibrate of course and so they're they're producing vibrations like this. The speeds will be a little bit off but every now and then when the speeds match up correctly they'll be pushing each other like that so they'll because they can communicate their vibrations to each other they'll actually be amplifying that vibration and making it worse and then occasionally the speed will be such that they're like this so as the quadcopter moves around and the speed of the motors adjusts and stuff, you'll go from having a sympathetic vibration to one that cancels out like that, if that makes sense. So my plan is not to let them communicate that vibration at all. So <clears throat> the vibration that each motor has is not going to add or subtract to any of the other motors. It'll just hopefully go into this damping. So um, what I've done is... I've just taken off these um, fiberglass mounting plates. They just go directly into here with a screw. Let me just get that off. So normally they just screw into there like that and there's no, no um, damping at all, of course. And this is a bit of a nuisance because it sort of blocks where the motor wires go. So I've just taken that plate off completely and I heard that these plates break easily and that would stand to reason because they just stick out past the edge of the bar quite a lot. Um, so what I wanted to do was, in addition to putting some damping underneath there, I wanted to turn them around so that we have a situation like this. If we can focus properly. Um, this is just a squishy golf ball thing to function as some landing gear so I don't land directly on top of the Mobius. Um, but what I've done is I've turned it, turned it around and instead of using screws because the screws will be a hard connection again, I'm using zip ties because they're a little bit soft and underneath the plate I've put some of this sponge that I found at uh, a shop here and the sponge quite intrigued me when I picked it up and squeezed it because it's kind of like wetsuit material if you've ever ha held grabbed hold of a piece of wetsuit and squeezed it it's kind of like that but it's about twice as thick and it's about half as dense feeling so it's it's quite soft it squashes in quite easily but the interesting thing that I thought when I squeezed it was that when you squeeze it in you put a lot of pressure into it but it still squidges sideways quite a lot like that so even when it's compressed, it has a nice sort of a, almost a jelly kind of gel feel to it. 
So it seems to me that that would be pretty good um, for this purpose. So I've just cut some little blocks of that off the sheet and poked some holes and put the zip ties through there. Um, so yeah, I don't really know how this is going to turn out, but um, I'll convert these other two motors over there. Um, I did spin up, I put a propeller on here, um, upside down of course, and spinned, spin up one of these motors just to get a feel, and then I compared it to the other side, and it feels like there is a slight bit less vibration, but it's kind of hard to tell really. Um, one thing I did notice of course though is that because this is free to move, as the motor accelerates, you can you can visibly see this plate sort of turning like that as it, as the speed changes. Um, so one weakness of this idea is that the because there's damping here between the frame and the mount, you can actually set up a sympathetic vibration just in this little area. And I've seen a video on YouTube where that's demonstrated quite well, and it looks pretty nasty. Um, so if that happens, we could have some trouble. Um, I'll see if I can find that clip from YouTube and I'll put it in here now. So as you can see, this is by no means a new idea. And if we get something like that happening, there'll be problems. But um, I noticed that what he's doing there is he's, he's holding the the arm down of the quadcopter so when that sympathetic vibration appears it just stays like because he's also controlling the speed of the motor exactly to get it to that point as well but I think my my theory here is that in actual flight there's a lot more freedom of everything to move so it'll be harder to set up those sympathetic vibrations and they won't stick around for as long when they do show up at least that's my theory. I, I really don't know how this is going to turn out. Okay, we're all done now. Um, I just wanted to mention a few other advantages that I forgot to mention before. Uh, as I was saying, that um, <clears throat> I heard a lot of reports about the motor mounts breaking because they stick out past the end of the bar. Obviously that's not going to be a problem here because now we have this big lump of um, bar sticking out there as a protector for the motor. And because the zip ties are going to break first, hopefully, we won't break this motor mount at all and also the wires are now coming in on this side so they don't have to go past any um, nuts on this side that get in the way and I can make them shorter as well if I want to because um, now that the wheelbase has changed um, I'm just wrapping it around here for now just in case this turns out to be a disaster so I can just put everything back the way it was um, another slight plus for me the way I've put my golf ball landing gear on there now the motor is exactly on top of the golf ball so it's not wasting any um, um, prop wash on getting around this golf ball thing um, and of course we've made it a little bit lighter not much lighter only saved about 10 grams by changing from the steel screws to the plastic zip ties but it's nice to be a little bit lighter isn't it so the wheelbase um, is now 46 I think so it's a, a little over 46 centimeters so um, I'm not going to change the PIDs or anything the reason I put up my last video with the horrible jello as a baseline test is so that we can see how much these motor mounts being changed is going to make a difference so I haven't changed anything else at all I'll use the same battery same same everything except for just these motor mounts is different now. Anyway, let's uh, go and see what happens. <laughs> it's quite cold this morning. It's beautiful weather though. Well, as you can see, there's practically no wind at all at the moment, so this is not really going to be a fair test because, I mean, a fair comparison with the last video because that one had a lot of wind. Well, not a lot of wind, but more than this, at least. But anyway, let's, uh, let's do this. I did a tiny little lift-off test in my room just before I left, just to check that it wasn't going to shake itself to pieces to, <laughs> even before it got off the ground. So I think it's okay to fly, 
but just to be safe I'll do this first battery um, without the Mobius and just get used to it and see if it's uh, going to have any problems. Wow, so far it feels really good. I think I might just put the Mobius on there straight away. While I was doing this flying and recording, the sound of the motors was so dramatically different from last time, it was just really, really quiet and smooth feeling. So I had really high hopes for um, the jello improvement aspect, but unfortunately when I got home and checked the footage on the Mobius, it was not to be. As you can see here, it's, um, it's possibly a tiny improvement. Um, certainly while it's hovering, it's, it's slightly better, I think, but anything other than hovering is not that great. So, um, yeah, nothing to get excited about, unfortunately. We had a bit of a close encounter with a tree there, but that lets us see what uh, kind of damage we get from this setup when it crashes. And as you can see, all of the zip ties that were holding the mount, motor mount on have broken. It's hard to see, it's bright sunlight there, isn't it? But um, all of the motor mount zip ties broke. The little golf ball popped off as well. Uh, we broke that propeller pretty good and that propeller over there, but it um, doesn't seem like anything too too bad. It's kind of funny we left with just a bare aluminium arm there. <laughs> Everything's fallen off. Um, but the frame folds up in a crash like that. That's, that's that's how it was when I picked it up. It was folded up like that. So that's kind of, um, kind of nice. It absorbs the impact a little bit. But anyway, um, I have some zip ties. I'm not sure if I can 
get them to go back on but part of my um, plan for this situation was that if something like this happens and you have zip ties available you just bring some zip ties along and you stick them on and you're ready to go again so I'll, I'll see if I can <laughs> prove my point about that and um, put it back together oh there we go uh, should be ready to go again so this is quite nice all you need is the zip ties to stick back on there and um, a pair of side cutters or scissors just to clip off the the excess there so the prop doesn't hit it the reason I've left a little bit there is because I can tighten it up with my hand still a little bit um, but this end here must have almost been about to break too because I've cleaned it up now but it was basically up to that second zip tie stuck into the dirt when it crashed so um, it's quite quite good how the bar is sticking out that far to protect the motor and the motor mount itself anyway let's uh, see if <laughs> see if it really is okay and we can still fly So what's the verdict then? Is this a stupid idea or a clever idea? Well, if I had to call it one way or the other, I'd say it's a slightly clever idea, but not very convincingly. In fact, probably not convincingly enough to have been worth the effort of doing the conversion for the motor mounts. But since I've done it, I'll, I'll keep them like that. As I say, it is a, a tiny improvement. And I do like the way that the zip ties make the motor mounts just snap off so that the motor mount plate itself isn't gonna get broken. And repair is pretty easy, like I showed you there, I can do it in a couple of minutes. Um, so I think I'll leave things like this for the time being. And um, it's, not a, it's not a silver bullet for jello, that's for sure. So we're still going to need some decent... Um, the, the main body of the quadcopter is still going to be a very dirty section, so to speak. And we're still going to need a fair bit of damping between this and the, the camera gimbal and stuff as well. So anyway, I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I was just uh, just testing the landing gear. I think it works.